about Africa. I always wanted to be there, see how I felt, like live there, raised there, and stuff like that, because that's something that probably was supposed to be. Movies, movies, movies. That's our mantra here on Metro Guide. Now that we've met a soon-to-be-famous actor, we'll get to know some independent filmmakers who are also generating well-deserved heat. First, we'll meet a documentarian who grapples with serious societal issues. It's supposed to be this land of what, the uh, Mokinani or something like that. Yeah. Everyone's got their own car and, yeah. So, I mean, are you interested? In going there? I, I'd like to go. I'd like to see what it's like. I can see myself visiting without living there. Why? It's too hot. And they don't have all the conveniences. South Africa don't have all the conveniences that New York have. You know, they might fool you and try to tell you, uh, you know, you're a little better off than the people over there, but that's not the truth. You know what I'm saying? We're all the same. We all got to struggle. Alonzo found striking differences in the perspectives of New York and South African teenagers, as well as fundamental similarities. And there's a certain kind of cynicism, you know, that you find, I think, among young people here. Can't trust police. Police are killing you. Like, you have to be a certain time after the dark. And they mad. They, they, somebody did something and they couldn't find them. They come after you. And there, given the moment in history, there's, a, there's an optimism, you know, that just pervades, you know, their presence and their attitudes about things based on being majority, you know, based on a new democracy. But I think there's, on both sides, there's a complete awareness. There's an understanding about what the circumstances are in their world. <laughs> 